Oh, hi. Hi, John Fugelsang. Good morning, sir. I raised a toddler while my country was electing one. <laughs> yeah. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I... Hello, everyone. How, how often do we get to say the words, a big win for Chuck Schumer? How often hey. do we get to say that phrase? <laughs> That's right. I win. I rule over all of you. <laughs> this is a victory for me. <laughs> John, um, it, it really is just their little stumpy fit over to the Senate with no masks yesterday. That It's just become the toddler tantrum party, right? I, Lauren Boebert like, literally threw a mask in the face of a staffer on the House floor. I, it's just, yeah. I, I, okay. I, yeah, I, I mean, I love it. But, you know, the same day, the same day 17 Republicans cross over and vote to begin debate on the infrastructure bill. So it's like, you know, it was a pretty good week, maybe. Right. And all of this theater, all of this anti-vax stuff, all this anti-mask stuff, man, this is going to be their epitaph. This is what they'll be remembered for. You know, you show me a white millionaire, who, a conservative white millionaire who hasn't had his shots. It's, they are willing to send their viewers and their voters to their deaths in order to slow a recovery and deny Joe Biden a victory because that's what fascists do. Fascists yeah. are willing to sacrifice you and they will let joe biden have a recovery over your dead body and your dead body yeah. and your dead body yeah mm -hmm. and i once again we ask why is marjorie taylor green not expelled from congress um she recently encouraged supporters to exercise their second amendment of rights against vaccine door knockers from joe biden's police state in previously <laughs> unreported uh, okay first yeah, of all, all no one's not people. coming to your house to force you to take a vaccine and here we go again she told the group Biden's going to be sending one of his police state friends to your door to see if you're vaccinated. We all love our Second Amendment rights. And if we don't like the federal government coming in on our property, telling us what to do, you have HIPAA rights. Oh, it's not HIPAA. HIPAA. Oh. And you do not have to tell your medical information. You can tell them to get off your front lawn and get off your porch. Um, OK. <laughs> when God closes a Donald Trump comedy door, he opens a Marjorie Taylor Greene comedy window. Do you really want her out of the house? Do you want her replaced by a competent fascist who's good at fundraising? I don't think you do. Keep her there and get Democrats more votes, please. Um, who is, what is the other doofus? Was Representative Moore, somebody that introduced her at this thing that she said mm -hmm. these were, um, John, do you understand this, first of all? Uh, he said she will fight a circular saw in a phone book for the good of this country. What? Do you understand wow. what that? I don't even I, I don't understand what they mean. They're not good at comedy. I don't even get it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's almost like she's bad at mixed metaphors and not very clever, and her base doesn't mind. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. You said a uh, question. What do you call pro-life patriot who opposes vaccine and masks? Anything but pro-life and anything but a patriot. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, it's like if you if you are against the the science of climate change. Don't tell me you care about the unborn. And they're proving it time and time again. It's the liberals who are the pro-lifers. When Donald Trump tried to get everyone you love to go to church last year for Easter 2020, yeah. like, like Easter's when you're supposed to come back from the dead, not send people to it. Yeah. They are not pro-life. They are not patriots. They are willing to sacrifice all their own people. We were it's just like, yeah, we were just talking ahead. off air about how we were getting ready to have nice things again. <laughs> I mean, but this latest story, John, this document about Delta variant, it is as transmissible as chicken pox, as Ebola, as the common cold. I mean, we are really uh, America, you in danger, girl. Mm -hmm. And because of these idiots, because, right? I mean, it, they're like, oh, how come we have to wear a mask again? It's because of you idiots wouldn't get vaccinated. Yep. And now it's mutated. And now we're effed again. Like, right? I exactly. Mean, Exactly. The same people who were preaching herd immunity in 2020 are why we will not reach herd immunity in 2021. And you know why it is, Steph? Because Dr. 
Dr. Fauci created COVID-19 in the Wuhan lab and made it out of WMDs, Hillary's emails, and Obama's real birth certificate. They pulled Dr. Fauci off the Jewish space laser project. Uh -huh. He was making the Hunter Biden's laptop when they're coming to get my guns out of Soros cash because Obama banned all the real light bulbs and the Clinton Foundation vaccine microchip gave me windmill cancer and yeah. the Benghazi stand down order made Biden want to ban your hamburgers. And that's why Fox viewers won't get the vaccine, even though Trump made it with his own hands. I just owned a nib. Wow. That was epic, John. That was epic. I've been watching Tucker all week. I've been doing my homework. Yeah. That, <laughs> that is okay. As you said, speaking of Tucker, oh, he said Dr. Fauci created COVID. Uh, you yeah. said Tucker's what I call lawsuit curious. He hangs out in lawsuit parts of town, slips into lawsuit bars and lawsuit bathhouses, hoping to find a big, strong lawsuit that will really work him over. Give this eager young man what he so obviously wants. Yes, I. <laughs> You can't. You just... don't come here to hunt, Tucker. You don't come here to hunt. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I it's just yeah. He just casually says to on on air that Dr. Fauci created COVID. I mean, it's it just oh, yeah. Okay, and they that. believe he it. Has that kind of privilege. His viewers I mean, believe it. Yeah, they want to believe it. See, does it really count as gaslighting if the victims want to be lied to? At this point, being a conservative in America is like being the tragic girl at a frat party. And you just want the big bloated trust fund bully to lie to you and tell you you're pretty and he likes your flag while he picks your pocket and has his way with you. That's all it is. Uh, they're they're signing up to be worked over by these fascists. I, I don't even know if, if, if we can consider them victimized anymore because they're enjoying it so much. Yeah. And Tucker knows his job is safe. He knows advertiser boycott, not going to hurt him. What, you know, he's fine. As long as he gets the numbers, he's great. But yeah. Rupert, it's so good to be reminded that Rupert really is that evil. You'd think marrying Jerry Hall would change something. But Murdoch got his shots before the Queen of England got her shots. Yeah. And they're still selling distrust in the vaccine. Because, again, that is what has become like, like not trusting the science and not doing anything about this pandemic has become core to Republican identity. You can't be a conservative unless you reject safety measures and reject the experts on this pandemic, because doing the right thing means you're capitulating to liberals. I mean, and we have to be the good guys. We can't say let them die. Well, the Chris does. Chris says it every day. You can't do it. You can't do it because, A, you got to be the good guy. We have to pray these people are all right. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to die. I want three ghosts to visit them on Christmas Eve and make them good people. Yeah. But also, it's, it's secondhand smoke. It's not that simple. They yeah. can kill a lot of other people while they're killing themselves. Yeah. Um, John, it's it, stuff you say is comedy. It, comedy is also in the news stack. You just mentioned Hunter Biden's laptop. Rudy Giuliani is still at it. He just claimed he could put Joe Biden and his whole family in jail with the contents yeah. of Hunter's laptop. He said everything on that hard drive. As an experienced prosecutor, I will tell you that in three months, I could put the whole damn family uh, in jail at the RICO Enterprise, which is funny. If, only I, I could fill, if only I could fill practice law. If I could fill practice law, I could do it. Are you, are you sure he got, are you sure Mr. Trump got the message? Because I left six messages this morning. It's a G-I-U-L-A-N. Are you sure he got the message? I'll go give another press conference about Hannah. I just, I just, it's I so can't. Sad. I, you know, your favorite doctor, the Demon Seed Lady. She is oh, uh, yeah. a doctor, yes, promoted by Trump, is filing a $100 million lawsuit against CNN for uh, defaming her reputation by quoting her actual past statements. They said Anderson Cooper uh, de defamed Dr. Stella Emanuel when he called her a snake oil salesman due to her promotion oh, of God. hydroxychloroquine and also her theories about demons impregnating human women during their sleep. And about physicians using alien DNA to treat their patients. The lawsuit claims um, the statements regarding demons and aliens were simply fabricated. However, that can still be found on YouTube. Her speech about demons impregnating women. Uh, she promotes it with the tagline, deliverance from spirit husbands and spirit wives. That would be in incubus and succubus, John, yes. for those of you that don't. Yeah. I, I, it's... What do you want to do? Follow Jesus and love each other? Give me a break. I mean, <laughs> Jesus is not their savior. He's their mascot. Actually, Jesus is their prop. That's all it is. These people are their real spiritual leaders. You know, whoever tells you what you want to hear, it's a great racket. Uh, you know, and it is, it, I mean, my dad sold snake oil, so I'm a little bit offended by the comparison. But <laughs> this is what we're up against, and they're signing up for it. But again, they're the minority. 
There's more of us than there are of them. This is happening because the Republican Party has lost the popular vote in seven of the last eight presidential elections. Yep. The white people know they're going to be a minority in 2045, and that's why they've moved from cheating to win elections to just not even caring and just throwing out elections where they lose. Like, yeah. this is happening because they're scared. This is why the filibuster has to go, and I mean fast. Yeah. We got to do whatever it takes because... They're going to do evil no matter what. If there's a filibuster when they have power or no filibuster when they have power, they're going to do evil. Well, but if there's still a filibuster, yeah. they're going to control both houses of Congress yep. in 2022. Yep. Well, John, this whole both sides do it. And we were talking, I, I almost every guest this week, we've talked about how it's always the same story. It is, we are just up against a party that there is no, I don't even know how to say this anymore. There, whether it's who won the election, you know, COVID, whether it's what yeah. happened on January 6th, they're just, there's no, they, yeah. they're not living in reality. I mean, you tweeted, at least Stefanik reminds you that what Ike Turner did was wrong, but doesn't Tina deserve a little bit of the blame? <laughs> She's oh. blaming Pelosi for January at least 6th. At least wants, Princess Leia deserves some of the blame for Alderaan's right, destruction. Right. By the way, at least Stefanik told me Anne Frank is the fault of the Third Reich. Like, and they're, these people are smart enough to know it. They're going for the dumb people. They're doubling down on the dumbing down. That'll be their epitaph. And the whole question is, are there enough stupid white people for this to win? I mean, if yeah. you're dumb enough to believe her, you're dumb enough to believe Trump. But it's really scary to see how they're just appealing to how dumb they think their base really is. I get the, the same right. I get the same right wing hate letter because uh, I don't tolerate it as much as you do. But I, the occasional phone call or letter, they're down to one thing: Joe Biden has dementia, and it's all illegal aliens that have oh, yeah. COVID that's spread that are bringing that COVID here. Thing, yeah. The only people. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah Joe. But first off, first off, the Joe Biden has dementia. I right. love that. Listen, Joe Biden could have an alien bursting from his chest and he'd still be a better president than Donald Trump. Yes. And I love hearing fans of President Sippy Cup afraid of ramps that Joe Biden is feeble. Yeah. But they're, they're literally saying that the, the explosions of COVID in all the red states, I mean, in all states, but every all 67 yes. counties in Florida are having COVID exploding right now. Yes. Not the fault of unvaccinated people. It's the fault of undocumented people. Right. I mean, and who will believe that? The people who want to believe it. They go to racism That's... every single time. It, yeah. Really? The, the 600 and something, well, according to actual studies, more like 900,000 of us are dead. Really? They're all undocumented immigrants. I mean, they they want to believe this. That this is only reason, an right? epidemic. They're angry, yes. They're more angry at Simone Bile than they ever were at Dr. Larry Nasser. They were more yeah. angry at Colin Kaepernick's knee than they ever were mad at Derek Chauvin's knee. And the same people, like, they don't want to teach, they don't want the, the truth to come out about six months ago on January 6th. We think they're going to allow the truth to come out from 1619 onward. Like, yeah. of course, they're against critical race theory. They're against the teaching of any kind of history, be it recent or ancient. This is yeah. what they're like. It's a cult. It's a death cult. And if we can't get voter turnout on in 2022, I'm telling you, these idiots trying to overturn Roe versus Wade, they're so stupid, Stephanie. They might not realize it, but they may be the ones to drive turnout. We The, the move to overturn Roe v. Wade might save America because they're really going to try and do it. They're yeah. trying to get it thrown out. And if they can succeed in getting Roe v. Wade thrown out before November 22 in the midterms, you will see a turnout unlike anything you've ever yeah. seen yeah. before. John, I don't know what it's going to take to get people voting. Is it true that once when you were a kid, you went to confession and told the priest that you had unpure thoughts about other religions? Is that yeah, true? Yeah, it's true. I tried to convert. I, 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 tried, I, I tried to convert to Judaism, and they said I was too neurotic. <laughs> uh, I tried to do Kabbalah, but they said I was too trendy. Uh, and then I, I tried to convert to Hinduism, but they told me, don't ever come back again. So I, I just ah, You are out. just an, ah, a delight. That's all I can say about yeah. you and your show on, on, on right here on Sirius XM. Mm -hmm. uh, John Fugelstein, tell me everything. Love you, John Fugelstein. Mm -hmm.